Hey, this is Mr. Peterson. So here's a short screencast. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to add all this data that you're gonna collect, uh, your graph, and we're gonna put that into Google Spreadsheets. So you're gonna export it as a CSV, comma-separated value. Make sure you label it something. So practice lab, whatever, X data. I'm putting that somewhere that I can find it. Now I'm gonna head to Google. My Google Drive, that's where I'm going to put it, right in that uh, claim, evidence, and reasoning. So Google, file, upload, find that we go practice lab X data. There's the CSV. I'm going to upload it. Now it's going to take a second or so. Doodly doo. Now it's going to convert it. I want to open it with Google Sheets. This shouldn't take too long. So it's going to open it with Google Sheets. Now we've got a column of stuff there. Now you're gonna, let's name it something pretty, you know, something as, let's get rid of that CSV, we don't need that anymore. So we're eventually gonna build a chart. So highlight both columns, and go back to the chart maker. So we gotta get, it, you know, by highlighting both of them, it gets all the data. You're gonna have more data points than that. Um, now, look, something's not quite right about this. We don't want, we, let's get rid of that column A. That's just the time. So we're gonna use column A as labels. All right, so from here you, you know how to do this. You customize it uh, on the chart axis and titles. There's that drop down menu. Make sure it's labeled and named something appropriately that fits to what you're doing. Then you copy that, head to the document, head to the Google document, and you can paste it right in there. Paste. Probably not going to have it linked. It's okay. Uh, so you, now you can adjust its size. There you go. Done. Mm -hmm.